Welcome back to Super Mario 64. We're going on to some new levels. As fast as you fucking can go, because holy shit, he's going through this game so fast, he's on 27 stars, slow the fuck down! <laughs> no, we've got things to decide. Level 8, hate this world. Let's get it over and done with. Oh boy, Sandopolis. I hate this level so much. This is the one with the hand This boss? is like yep. one of the worst levels in the game, and I, like, ugh. Fuck this one. Can you think of any sand level which is like a good level in a game? Um, <laughs> no. The one in Odyssey? No. Wait, no. Uh, Sand Hill from Sonic Adventure. Disagree. <laughs> Sa sand Hill from Sonic Forces. <laughs> Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill right now. God. Also, I'm not walking everywhere. We are not going to do exercise. We're going to fly there like a smart person. And cause air pollution. Uh, Mario sits on his ass for the first half of the game, then flies everywhere you, for the second half. You know why? You know why desert levels suck? Because right. of quicksand. Quick, quick sand. Sand yeah. in general, because they, like, they're always programmed to have to be like really, like, you know, have too much friction or not enough friction. Okay, Josh, quickly, because uh, we're talking about sand, uh, edit in a joke. Your favorite Anakin Skywalker joke. Mm. No. It's just igniting the lightsaber in front of the children. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite joke from Anakin Skywalker? Uh, his fucking life? <laughs> he just plays the entirety of the, um, this is a prequel trilogy. Haha. Just the part. I do the funny! I like I mean, the part where the sequels completely smash his fucking legacy to pieces. Yeah. I mean, sand is rough and coarse and gets everywhere. Save it for the Battlefront 2 LP, Josh. Don't worry about it. We're not we'll doing a there. Battlefront Eventually. 2 LP. Yeah, we no. are. When? Oh. Are you recording it? December. Yeah, I am. For Are you actually? Yes. Alright, I'll hold you to that. I'll go through that god awful well, story mode, why not? We, we have this We have this uh, part as reference, so whenever you guys decide yeah. to record it, you like, lock officially. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can edit in this uh, clip in grayscale. <laughs> Okay, so can the bird steal your hat unless I can't Yes, remember? it can, but only it after can. you've done the first star. Is there anything about the bird taking your hat that actually affects the rest of the game? No. Uh, yeah, she'll take double damage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh! I forgot. And if you unload the game, uh, the bird will permanently lose your hat, but if you talk to Toad, he'll have magically gotten it. How? Mm. Can you, um, wow. can you get wing caps and stuff for, uh... Yeah, you can still get them. It's just you wear another hat afterwards. Wild. Nice catch. Damn. Mm, Beat the lucky. shit out of the bird. <laughs> Damn vultures. <laughs> Actually, I can think of I'd one sand level that was okay. Started sinking. Yeah. Odyssey. Oh yeah, I yeah, was I gonna bring that. that up. I did like the sand level in Odyssey. That's another grayscale moment. What about the the food level in Lost World? That's a sand level, apparently. Yeah, totally. I'm still not over that. There are Can tears you? forming in Thank my you. eyes. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> All right, favorite three D Mario's go. Uh, Odyssey. Probably the Galaxy games, like both of them. I know that's kind of cheating, but, but I will. Galaxy 1 com comes up as a close second, so... I, I'd say Gal yeah, Galaxy 1 is my favorite out of the two. I think I like the platforming more in Galaxy 2, but I like the um, the premise and setup in 1 more. Mm. If that makes sense. Gonna I bet you, Mr. Experiment. Call us when we get to sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I think Josh is taking care of that, so we'll probably be, get, get, uh, be closer to that than you think. I mean, I won't be 100%ing it because I'm not that good at the game, but yeah. I mean, we don't. you don't have to. Do you really want that fucking postcard? <laughs> well. Well, how long is that LP going to take? Mm. Give me three hours, Depends I'll get the whole thing done for you. <laughs> that's up, that's oh, up to you. No, don't miss it! Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Was that a threat? <laughs> 30 stars! Also, 30 stars! That's enough for the second Part 3! Hell yeah! Yeah. 
<laughs> That's enough for the second Bowser fight. Walks back in. Have you guys noticed that <laughs> he hasn't gotten any more one-ups yet? Yeah, because he's just that good. He doesn't have to. I mean, at least it's not Galaxy, where every time you get fucking one-ups, it resets every time you start the game back up. Yeah, why? I really don't Wait, why? understand why that's a thing. I, mean, like, I don't understand why that. it does that. Lives aren't saved like, in this, uh, they aren't saved in Sunshine. Oh no, wait, they are saved in yeah. Sunshine, shit. That makes no sense. Yeah, they just Galaxy's don't... just the odd ball, I think it's because they view Galaxy as like this kind of arcade thing anyway. It's its own well, trilogy. What, what confuses yeah. me is every time you boot the game up, Mail Toad is going, HEY! I got fucking one-ups for ya! And it's like, <laughs> yeah, it like, just I makes think, it I think that's only supposed to happen once, but they couldn't figure out how to save it, so he just shows up with extra lives every single time. Oh, no, that's fine. We'll get it later. Just, just so you know, if we, yeah, if we do Galaxy, I'm absolutely doing it as a Luigi. Do it. Yes. Be unique. I'm gonna do it as Wario. Yeah, not, not like uh, another Let's Player didn't do it first. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, what a comfy cat. Oh. Oh, fuck. Who we'll breaks seal? Who breaks seal? Who breaks seal? Who breaks seal? Who breaks seal? Hi, I'm fucking Andros. Let's do it. Hey, it's this the is the boss of uh, Odyssey. This is the this is Bongo Bongo from Ocarina of Time. It's my yeah, great the grandmother. Really like hands with eyes on them. Or the or the, the <laughs> boss from Wind Waker with the eye, the hand the hands with Which eyes you, on. Imagine waking up from like thousands of years of sleep. It's a bit little Italian guy just keeps punching you in the eye. You know, do you know what's even more insulting? <laughs> Being trapped at the bottom of the well for God knows how long, only for the guy to just literally jump a slash you in midair after he's dropped a bomb on your head and insta kill you before you've even had a chance to load. <laughs> Amazing. Because I've done that in Ocarina of Time. Oh. God, we're gonna have Dude, to do God. Ocarina at some point, aren't we? I'll record that. <laughs> some point. Even better. Uh, even even better I'll give you a version first. you can play together. Oh yeah, right. That came out recently, eh? Which version are you gonna that, do, uh, Mateo? Uh, 3DS. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do the 3DS version. Good. Thank fucking God. I'm gonna be I, doing uh, N64 version of Majora's Mask, I, but in 16. I, I prefer the 3DS version to the N64 version, so. Alright. I just hope you remember to build your shaders. Yeah. Alright. Also, the physics on those poles make no sense, Mario. You just run up them. Uh, the triggers aren't very specific. As long as you're standing on them, it generally works. I just bump slammed for absolute Look. security. Look around you. Look at the fucking pyramid spinning. <laughs> Are you already going to start fucking complaining about physics in this game when that fucking just happened? Yes. I say don't worry about it. What the hell, Gabe decided? What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's game. Mickey Mouse. Game Grumps is here already. Huh. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the way he just jumped out of that fucking wall! Yeah, that's realistic! Yeah, Fucking like... hell. <laughs> Pain that... It doesn't have to be realistic, it's In just weird. In what way is Mario realistic? The Super Mario uh, Brothers Italian. movie? Italians actually exist, Matteo, they're not fictional. I don't think the Mario movie was very realistic e either. Did you see the Goombas? Oh wait, no, they're just that's just what New Yorkers look like. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm receiving reports Deep Pals has now been banned in the state of New York. <laughs> Thank fucking god. <laughs> Matea now reigns supreme. <laughs> uh oh. Matea's gonna find her way down to me and just fucking drop kick me in the in the ribs. Yep. I'm just gonna turn up to the airport and trying to escape. Matea's just there with a baseball bat. Yeah, in the pad. middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fine. It's socially distanced. You can just yeah. throw it. Okay, all right. Middle of, the, a... of a pandemic. What are you gonna do instead? Cough on me? Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> anyway, die, die, dogs. Was... This exists. Yeah, it's pretty oh, dire. Yeah. This is splash. This is a level that I completely forgot about. So what? This is the level that everyone says is the best uh, water level in the entire franchise. It's and I not. Sit there and go, no, it is Why? not. It sucks. Funny, that's not Jolly Roger Bay. Hmm. All Funny, water that's levels. not any of the fucking water levels from uh, Galaxy. It's not uh, the Lake Kingdom from Odyssey. Lake yeah. Kingdom from Odyssey is the best one, in my opinion. No, I only like the Galaxy ones because you can abuse the penguins, that's it. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> you can abuse the penguins. I like them because the control in Galaxy Underwater is pretty good. You know? 
Now, how the hell they got it right in this and fucked it up in sunshine? I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm more upset about the fact that you can't use the, uh, like, the, uh, tur mm -hmm. not the turbo, the hover nozzle to I, go faster underwater. I absolutely mm. hate how you control underwater in 64. It is so fucking stiff. Just like the rest of the game. Yeah, this game know, is nothing if not consistent. I know, but it's especially <laughs> stiff in underwater levels. I don't mind it. I, uh, I think, uh... What is it called? Uh, Galaxy had the right idea though with the spin chop. I love how screen mm -hmm. controls in that. And the transformations in Odyssey are a nice way of getting around it. Because swimming is regular Mario, fuck that shit. I also <laughs> like being able to pick up a shell underwater in Galaxy and just fucking... Yeah. Zoom. And zoom around. Yeah. yeah, they even have little fucking tail lights whenever you break. It's great. God, the most one you have at the water level is collecting the purple coins on a course. Oh, God. <laughs> We'll get to the purple coins Death. when we get to Galaxy. Are you going to 100% Galaxy? Doubt. I say. <laughs> but I'll probably show off the fucking purple coins. I've been attempting the 100% Galaxy on All Stars, but I kind of gave up because Crash 4 came out, so I'll probably get back on that soon. I mean, to be fair, we should be used to it, because I don't think you've finished a game in the last year. Uh, What was the last game that I beat? I think it like Resident Evil 3 and Persona 5. Probably be uh, so, yeah. so, so games Royal. that have already been out for a while then. Last game, I yeah. So it would have, have been like March because like that was around when uni was just starting up for me. So yeah. now that uni's last ended, I'd probably get a blitz of time. Beaten on my backlog for the first time was Greece, and I did that on stream. So for some reason, when you said Greece, I thought you meant like the fucking musical. Same. Oh no, no, the it's that platformer. So whenever someone mentions Greece, I think of my God, you're greasy. <laughs> Go up there nice and quickly. Go get him. This is the Bowser stage right? Yeah, this not is done. Bowser stage round two. This is easily the least memorable of the three. Well, I mean, it's just a generic lava level with a load of flipping blocks that wouldn't look out of place in a 1970s yeah. house. Experiment just failed the Green Demon Challenge. Oh no. The what? The Green Demon Challenge is essentially summoning a 1-Up, and because 1-Ups follow you in this game, it's trying to complete the level without getting the 1-Up. Eh. See, but why would I want to deny uh, myself insurance? Good point. I mean, you missed a 1-Up earlier. You stood right Don't next to one and went, nah. Yeah, Don't but you see, it. that would have slowed <laughs> me down. That one just came to me, so it's just optimal. Yeah. Look at that, see, optimal. Right. Now, do I do? Yes, I yeah. do. There you go. See, I do all that silly pole dancing shit when you can just go over it. Pole dancing. <laughs> Amazing. Look, he's back. Right, hell, you got here quickly, mate. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> Bowser, the world's most hated why, ginger. Why does this model of Bowser just look like his gums are swollen? I think he just had a severe allergic reaction to going 3D. He got stung in the face by a wasp. Yeah. Speaking of being stung, do you like bombs? Uh -oh. Not particularly, no. Ah, oh, well, too bad bombs. for you. Oh, that was a shit oh. yeah. Pass me the Well, too bad don't. for you. It's a long game, Bowser. Oh! <laughs> Speed. <laughs> okay, pass me. We're going to have to reset. Uh -oh. Do this again. This was God. not optimal. I have to admit, though, it's, um... Shocking how the jump between this and like Sunshine, how they finally like got Mario's design down because they were still fluctuating around this area. There we go. So that's this better. era. There. Well, I mean, they got it kind of right by the end of the N64 with the Mario Party games and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Also, wow, wait, he's only one hit? I thought he was two in this section. Nope, just one. He's three in the last. Wow, it's done. Honestly, this fight's the biggest pain in the arse of any because the platform can slide everywhere. Why they like to do that in like like Nintendo? I see this is like a reoccurring thing in Nintendo games where the lava boss fights sometimes like have sliding sections where like you're fighting on a plate and then like it'll slide into the lava and it's just like ah uh, because it's a uh, oh look out you gotta it, avoid the obstacle. Because I remember also I remember Superman sixty four. There was a similar thing in Twilight Princess in the Goron dungeon where you're you're fighting. The Goron. Oh what the. 
Well, you all saw that, right? One... What? Oh, yeah. Ring just disappear? I need that oh, yeah. Yeah. five. Oh, Excuse me, Mr. Man's Ring. Um, suddenly... I'm claiming bullshit. Suddenly we're playing Superman 64. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no time to waste. <laughs> and that's a game that I'm not touching. I... I'll torture myself with Sonic yeah, games, no, but I won't torture game. myself with those sorts of games. No, no, fuck Superman 64. Uh, on John Wait, is it faster to LP. kick like this, or is it faster to do like the breaststroke? No, the, the kick's slower, but it's more precise. You need to be slower uh, on those rings because they have a habit of mm, despawning or not registering you. <laughs> oh, brilliant! That makes me feel ten times better about this this game. Wow, thanks. G. G. Wilkers. <laughs> G. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this wet stuff is what all true fish strive for. <laughs> I just wonder what Looks global warming's up to. When are you gonna, when are you gonna to? record the CDI games for us? Um, get me away grabbing composite simple first. And a CD Shit. burner. Uh, Can't you emulate CDI? A CD burner and a dazzle, I mean, have fun. Yeah, but CDI emulation shite, and why would I do that when I've got an actual system? Why? Why do you have an actual system? Because I was bored. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good enough reason, I think. Which games do you have for the system? Right now, I have Hotel Mario and Tetris. Oh shit, you got Tetris? Tetris on Philips CDI, baby. Well, look, that game has one of the best fucking underrated soundtracks ever put in the video game, Fight Me. You want something I mean, to I listen to, to fight the fuck you, out. You go to Tetris on CDI. I like to think that the... I'd like to think the developers of Tetris Effect were like, hmm, yes, we saw that uh, the CDI version of Tetris had a great soundtrack, so we worked on it from there. I mean, it's 90 synthwave, basically. Oh, nice. God, I love this version of the Invincibility thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good version. Mario, what happened? <laughs> Where'd the metal go? <laughs> Why aren't you floating? It's... Mario just gets really fat. In between. Yeah, he's just but eating yeah, the stars. Holy shit, he's nearly at 40 stars. I mean, maybe the metal cap doesn't actually take him metal. Maybe it just drastically increases the iron in his blood. Oh god. <laughs> Mario becomes Colossus. Now let's just pray and hope to god he never finds a magnet. Clang! Oh god. Metal heads when I bury magnets in their backyard. <laughs> now, if you had a strong enough electro, now if you had a strong enough electro magnet, you could rip them piece by piece. As the iron violently tears itself out of his body. Yeah, all right. We're fucking recounting a JoJo fight at this point. <laughs> you guys are a bundle of fun. Metallica you know versus King Crimson. Fuck. Was that a motherfucking <laughs> JoJo reference? Technically, yes. Not even technically, it was! So that's not a technicality, that is literally a JoJo reference. Yes! Are we playing Mario 64 right now? Technically, yes! <laughs> we fucking are! <laughs> no, we're playing a virtual simulation of an yeah. actual true story that just happens to resemble Super Mario 64. Get right. <laughs> Josh, I'm trying to confuse the simulation. Are we playing Mario 64? No, this is just a trivia. Anyway, join us next time for World 5. Bye. Yeah, see you next time.